first of all, what is one hot encoding? One hot encoding is a method to transform your data so that it can be processed by uh, an algorithm or a specific data analysis technique because most techniques are mathematical and expect numerical data. But some of these techniques can deal with ordinal or nominal uh, data as we have here. But in order to do that, you might want to transform your data first. In this case, perform a one-hot encoding. What does that mean? For example, for these first three rows, we would choose to one-hot encode them instead of having a column with region where we have the values America, Europe and Africa, we would create a binary column where we uh, put a one or a zero if that uh, specific value occurs for that row. How does that look like? For example, for region, we would create an America column, a Europe column and an Africa column. For the first row, it has America, so it would get a one and two zeros for the other ones, for the other column, sorry. Then for the second row, we would get a zero for America, a one for Europe, and a zero for Africa. Then for the third row, we would get zero, zero, one, like that. So this is a one hot encoding. Same thing for gender, in case we want to uh, do the one hot encoding for gender. Here we would create a male column, a female column, and for row one, that would, the one would go here, the zero would go there. For row two, it would be vice versa. Okay, now you have a clear understanding about one hot encoding is, at least how it looks like in terms of data formatting. Let's have a look how we can do this in Tableau Prep. Now first, let's have a look how we can do this in Tableau. So I have connected myself to the little Excel file. Uh, we check whether our values are being loaded correctly. And then we want to do one hot encoding. Now the thing is, as you can see here, there is this functionality where we can uh, pivot our rows to columns. But Whenever you do that, you will to prov you need to provide every time a field to aggregate. In case you don't want to lose any of your columns, you can create a constant first, as we did here. So as you can see, we have created a calculated field, which only has a one, so that we can use that constant field and perform a count on it. And as you can see, by dragging region as the pivoted fields and a count on the constant, we have already one hot encoded or region column. The problem is, it is kind of hard to do it for a lot of columns. Because for example, if you also want to do it for gender, we would need to repeat the step. So as you can see here, we create a calculated field called constant. We just put a one in there. And again, we make use of the rows to columns functionality. This time we want to one hot encode gender. So we have dragged it in here. You see the values female and male. And again, we perform a count of the constant, which nicely results in a binary uh, coding of the categorical, in this case, nominal variables. Now, if you need to do this five, 10, maybe 100 times, it can become quite a flow only for one hot encoding your variables. Therefore, I want to show you the scenario where we will make use of a little Python code, which in this case is called one hot dot pi which will do the one hot coding for us. All right, how do, how do we do that? For those who are familiar with working with scripts in Tableau Prep, will know that this line actually isn't necessary because 
when you feed your data from Tableau Prep to TabPy, it will import pandas automatically and will treat the data as a pandas data frame. But for the sake of transparency, I have added both the import of pandas and the import of NumPy. All right. Now, the nice thing when making use of a little script is that you can make use of all uh, these very handy functions. There is this function called get dummies, which is a part of the pandas package, which allows to dummify or to perform a one-out encoding on our both columns. So what do we do here? As you can see, we define a function which performs a one-out encoding once on region, a second time on gender, and then we add these encodings to the data frame. Now, a very specific, specific thing you need to keep in mind is that when you work with scripts in Tableau Prep, you need to define your output schema when your output schema is different than your input schema. So you need to keep in mind that, of course, I want to keep my ID, so I uh, type it again, but this part isn't dynamic. So that indeed means that you upfront need to know what all the distinct values are of the columns which you want to one-hot encode. In this case, I know that in my region column, there are the values America, Africa, Europe, and Asia. So I define them here in my get output schema. Same thing for gender. For this specific data set, there are two values, male and female. We define them up front, which has the advantage that instead of doing all these steps, you can just do it in one step. And as you can see, the Python script nicely performs one hot encoding for you. Thank you very much for watching.